Hello and welcome to this edition of Tips and Tricks. Now today I'm going to be talking about the easy way to catch rockfish. I know it's Center Coast Bass Tips and Tricks, but as I always say, the rockfish are the smallies of the sea. And you can put away all your stinky shrimp and your stinky squid and, and I don't know, maybe even your anchovies or sardines. Because the easy way to catch them is this little rig right here. I mean, I call it the Texas with the twist. It's, it's basically sort of a, a slightly altered Carolina rig. But that's, that's all you need. And I'm, I'm just using my seven foot bass pole, medium heavy, and I'm using a 12 pound, a 20 pound mono. But this is it. This is a half ounce. You can go half ounce up to a one ounce. And I don't use an EUG on these. I use a little, the drop shank, the ones that are a little straighter that keeps it so there's not that big bow down at the bottom. I don't know, sometimes it just seems like with that EUG and that wider gap, um, I get less fish or they're, they're more willing to spit it really quick than having this, the, the little drop shank and having it a little closer to the worm. But that's all you need, a little four inch worm. This is one of our old blade worms. A lot of people use robo worms, just or our cut tails. And I, I pegged this just with a, a toothpick, but I mean, you can use a bobber stopper or however you want, but th that's all you need. I mean, I, you know how many times I outfish people <laughs> using bait when I go to the Coast Guard Pier? Uh, pretty much every time. Uh, in that show I did with my viewer, uh, he'd been there before a couple times, didn't catch any rockfish. I'm like, oh dude, set up Carolina rig, set up a little a one aught wor uh, worm hook, and you know, uh, with, uh, with a little four inch worm or something, and that's all we're gonna be doing. Well, one of his friends showed up after he told him what we were doing and told him what to set up, and he goes, oh no, I'm using bait, I'm using bait. He got there, tried to use bait. Uh, he didn't catch anything, he left within an hour. My viewer, I think he caught like seven or eight and missed a punch. And he'd already been there trying to catch a rockfish a couple times. And you saw him, he's a good fisherman, he's a good bass fisherman. Once I told him to fish for him like bass and set up this little rig, he, he, was, he caught more than me to, to start with. But yeah, that's, that's all you need. And, and I show a lot of people, and some of them were actually in, in another show I did there. And they came over to me because they saw me catch a, a bunch. And they were using plastics, but they had it kind of drop shot style, but they had two worms above it. And they were trying to work it that way and getting all stuck up in the re in the kelp and just having a heck of a time. I told them to do this. They started catching them right next to me. And they've been back a bunch of times and, and they catch them all the time now. Because it's just, you can, it's just the perfect way. I mean, because this either over the rocks down there or when you're going through the kelp and this thing just kind of, like, kind of just drags and swings like Carolina rig just behind it and those fish just they love it they love it especially if you get the gulp uh, sandworms that's rock candy to them but yeah give it a try leave all your stinky bait don't even mess with it you just hook up a Carolina rig and start punching it and fishing it through that kelp and you'll probably start having as much fun as I do catching so many rockfish and there's so much fun to catch like i said they're the, they're the smallies of the sea i hope this helps until next time